come back to show you um, a bar pull that we're doing on the quick turn with the Mazatrol T32B. Uh, it's a bit of an uncommon control this one compared to a lot of the others uh, on the Mazat quick turns, but this is the Hyundai quick turn. So I thought I'd show you and I'll put this video up and then people can see the controller, see a little bit of how it's working and see what I'm using as a bar pull program. I'm no expert, but I've got it working today. I've got one of these import bar pulls, just gets adjusted from the rear, and it has a little bit out of tension grips on the bar quite well. Although these are cast, and I did knock it and snap it and had to weld it back on. But anyway, so this is our program. I'll go down here to the bar pull. So this is for the bar pull. So we've got it in manual programming. Change point one, which is about the tool change. Gear one, because it's not geared, so I have to put that in. Tool number eight, which is our bar puller. And then we're going as a G0 rapid to X0 Z plus two and M5 spindle off. Then we're doing linear move, Z minus 22, which slides the puller over the bar. Feed rate of 500, M6 chuck open. And then it's another linear move, Z minus 10, as it's pulling the bar out of the chuck. Feed rate 500, at the end of that move, it's M7, chuck closed. And then another linear move on the Z, back to 30. Feed rate 750, a bit quicker on this one, and that just clears the bar pull away from the material and um, allows it to go ready for the next position. Now at the end of this, oh, shouldn't have put that in there, let's just get rid of that. What am I doing here? Let's go back. And that was the end, sorry, press the wrong button. So we've got the counter on, I'm only gonna show you one, but I was doing them at 20 at a time on 300 mil lengths of bar. Return to home position, no, so it will just clear the job and park itself there. That's the program number we're on that we want to repeat, we want to continue, and we wanted to do it 20 times. So if we go into auto now, switch over to auto, and I'll show you through the class. We just run one part and show you. Go back on our position page. We've already done our setup, so that's all done. So let's show you the program running. These are just small EM3B mild steel push fit inserts for a job that I'm doing, or a job that I've just finished, shall I say, but I will be making more of these. But where they're very short parts, um, I'm not hundred sure, but I think they're less than a minute a piece. I'll get the timer up. You go onto the trace screen, you can see 38 seconds. So they're probably just over a minute. So this is putting a back chamfer and then cutting off. There's the part. The only downside is you've got to find these parts when they drop off. So this is the bar pull. Chuck open. Chuck close again. And then off it goes. So again, so that was about one minute, nine seconds. So if you're doing these manually, you're just not going to be able to leave the machine. Whereas if you're able to do them like this, I can put on a 12 inch piece of bar, I can run 20, so I can go away for 20 minutes. And if I run a one meter length in the spindle, which we've got the guard up here at the moment, if I run one meter length, so the bar's in the spindle and run it with um, spindle tubes to stop the bar rattling around inside, then we can run it for probably an hour unless there's throws up any errors so yeah just thought i'd show you that cheers for watching like and subscribe if you want to see any more videos let me know cheers